I mean, look at this. Look at all these beautiful colors. Soft and smell so nice. What? Floss tube? Not my podcast? Oh. Hello everyone! I'm back a month later, a little bit more than a month, but thanks to Leslie over at Lee Stitch. She threw me a, where are you? I'm kind of missing your floss tube. And I'm like, yeah, it's time to make a floss tube. <laughs> so I'm back and yes, I'm putting on a, up a little smile, you know, fake it till you make it, something like that. Um, I'm gonna get serious. Um, I'm not gonna <coughs> be the fun, fun, happy, stitchy me for a while now. Um, my first thoughts goes to all the people in the Ukraine. Uh, what's happening over there is just horrible. Just there are no words for it. It's just horrific. And I'm sending thoughts and prayers and every day, 24-7. Um, I've donated money for the organizations who go there to, to give help and to uh, save the children in the orphanages who doesn't have any parents who doesn't have family to care for them to make sure that they are safe or that they can leave the country if you can and want please find a way to to support the Ukrainian people to send help um, there are so many different ways you can do that. Uh, one way is uh, to he head over to Stacy at uh, 911 Stitcher. She has, uh, I think it is her latest video. She talks about Ukrainian designers over at Etsy. You can buy some patterns from to give specific people support. There are designers out there who are sending out free patterns to us and instead of paying for a pattern we can donate some money some to some organization or the ukrainian designers um, as i said many different ways um, send love and prayers to them So, it feels a bit wrong to stand here and have a happy floss tube and, you know, having this Western civilization problems, you know, my thread is finished, you know, or my, I'm out of threads. I need to order. And where should I get it from, you know? It's... <sighs> It is a reason to why I haven't made a floss tube right now because it's just yeah um, I have no words I have no words but I'm here because I feel I should also <laughs> say hello to everyone I want to share my stitchy bug which is coming back and I was thinking today when I was thinking about, you know, the Nashville, Nashville needle market for this year. I'm so excited about it. I'm usually, you know, the, the last one in to find out about these things. And 
this time I actually made some pre-orders to hopefully <laughs> I don't have to wait that long uh, to be a part of it. Um, I know I'm going to say a lot of um, because I really don't know what to say, <laughs> what to talk. I haven't prepared very much. I've put up all the things I've been stitching on. I've put up the haul I've gotten from Hawkins Hobbies and I'm going to go through it all. Um, a little bit more rambling before we start looking at the goodness. Um, I am knitting. I finished. I, I know this is not my podcast, but I'm pretty proud. I did finish my Stephen West showography and it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's blocked and everything. So I'm very pleased. I do like my first shawl better. The one which is hanging here. My curvet shawl. I like that more. But what the heck. You can't be happy about everything. And I have a runny nose. And I'm back. I needed to grab my coffee. Just a little bit of a... I usually don't have so much life update. Because my life is more or less... Work, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep. And between the working and the eating and the sleeping, I do stitch a little bit. I do knit a little bit. I sit with my family. I help my daughter with her schoolwork, excuse me. And um, yeah, and just mainly feeling pretty damn tired all the time. So I'm not like in the best mood in life or something like that anyway it's going to be a long ramble so if you don't like me rambling about cross stitching whatever just skip ahead until i'm starting to show whips <laughs> but uh, i had um a hat i don't have it anymore or i don't know I, I made the Nikki rotation and I joined the Whipco and I'm joined all the challenges over at the Full Coverage Fanatics group on Facebook. And I started that in January. I started, you know, changed the next monthly rotation in February. I talked about it in my last floss tube. And then I got COVID. Yes. I. In a way, I'm a bit angry at myself because I made it through the two years and then I got it you know and I was being so careful but anyway me and my husband we got it at the same time and my dog got sick at the same time as well so we had a real wonderful week being sick and having a sick dog at the same time. Yeah. I'm being ironic, if you missed it. But during the time I had COVID, I realized like the whole rotation just got turned upside down. I couldn't, you know, stick to the stitchy plans or whatever. And I was starting to thinking about all the other whips. I couldn't stitch on and I was like well am I never ever going to stitch on them for a whole year so did I bring that hold please I'm back you don't have to hold anymore I got it here I realized anyway so what did I do yes I started a new chatelaine. I did. And it felt great. It felt wonderful. And I packed away my uh, full coverage pieces. And I just asked myself when I, after, when I was feeling better from the COVID situation, what do you want to stitch on? I want to stitch on my big chatelaine. So I did. And then I watched Cat over at Cat Talks and she showed her amazing progress on Amazing Animal Kingdoms and I was like well now I want to stitch on my Amazing Animals and I did. I have been trying to not keep 
keep up with the whip go but I'm trying to stitch a little bit on those projects I have connected with the numbers which are called for so I'm trying that I'm not doing pretty good but I'm doing it because at the moment I feel stitching more on the small kits you know and also you know thinking about market and everything yeah whatever makes me happy so and when I'm saying that I feel bad about my full coverage pieces and I'm like no Linda you love your full coverage pieces you need to stitch on those yes ma'am I do so my goal has to be not to be stressed about what I'm stitching on I mean that has to be the goal it is the process I love and as soon as, as it starts giving me anxiety or you know stress for not doing this or this or this or it's starting to become like a job because I want to show the things that I have promised on floss tube and stuff it becomes more like you know a job situation and I don't want that and that's when I start to you know um, back away from it somehow and just keep pushing things in front of me and I don't want that we have to have fun and I don't want to stop floss tube even if I have thought about it because if I don't have floss tube I was like why even buy things which makes me happy who who am I going to share it with if I don't have you so I have to you know yeah I'm rambling I'm rambling so I don't know if you followed me on any of that I hardly did it myself but yeah life is life and my mood is like up and down as I have said before I just have to go with it okay so I'm not gonna sit all day and edit this thing with putting up pictures I might put up pictures here or here I don't know but I usually cut off a little bit if I'm turning around and stuff I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna edit just a little bit so I don't know where to begin really and I don't know if you're gonna enjoy this at all because a lot of the things I've just stitched a little bit on and then I switched projects so you're not gonna you know see all that much but I will just grab things and maybe it will be haul maybe it will be you know my progress stuffs I don't know we'll just roll with it right right um so I mentioned my um, new Chatelaine start. So I did promise myself once, once that I should finish a Chatelaine before I start the next one. But I fooled myself. I did. I did start a new Chatelaine. And this is a mini Chatelaine. So it's a small one. It's going to be finished in no time if I focus on it. And this is the center and it's looking amazing. Focus, focus, focus. And it is the mystery mini number four. I don't know. It's the small one with the mid medieval city. It's so nice. It is so nice. And I have the whole kit for it with beads and silks. And it's the first time I'm stitching with NPI silks. And they're very nice and soft. Yes, the NPIs. Really spoiling myself rotten sometimes. Yes. And the fabric is linen it is white linen it's 32 count and it's uh, the kit was bought from the European cross-country company in the States so 
I just kind of grabbed a thread a day or something. While, you know, sometimes when you're sick, you're like more sick in the mornings, in the evenings, and you have like a top in the middle of the day when you can actually do something. Yeah, so that's when I, I grabbed my chatelaine. All right. Ah, yes, let's talk whip go. So we had some numbers called, my husband might come home. He was coming home early. Then I will just cut you off, go uh, do some grocery shopping and continue at another time. Anyway, back to this. So, whoops, that was the uh, pattern. <laughs> um, I think it was number 15 and 21, which were called. I might be wrong, but my numbers that were called was the Teresa Winsler, which I've been dreaming about starting. And it is the storyteller, this one. And I bought a complete unopened kit uh, on eBay some time ago. And uh, yeah with threads and everything and I'm very happy that the threads were actually sorted and kind of sitting on the cards so that was pretty nice but you guys I have to show you the thread key the thread what do you call that um yeah, the threads and symbols. And they're almost all, um, what do you call that? When you have one strand of each color. Blending, blendings. Oh my God. Oh my God. A little bit overwhelming. The other one, which was called was Maggie the Messmaker from Dimensions, a gold kit. And I was thinking, so it's so typical. It's so typical that both of these were called at the same time, you know. I was so overwhelmed and when I saw it was done, I was like, no, I don't want to start these two. It's just too much work and it's paper patterns, not digital. Yeah. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Can I pull these out then? I want to show you the so this is the one, which way should I, her, very nice, very sweet. So, oh, I was just wondering, I'm, I'm stitching with black and I thought it was the cat, but then I realized that the cat was white, but the sewing machine is black. <clears throat> and the mess maker has to be, it has to be an 18 count. It could be a 16 count. Does it say somewhere? Oh, maybe you want to see the progress too. It's not, almost nothing. It's 18 count, Ada. Yeah. 18 count, that's 36 count. Should I stitch with two threads over one on Ada? I don't know. Let me show you Maggie the Mess Maker. Wow, amazing progress. Yeah, I don't like it. And today, actually, I started the Storyteller. I was a little bit, bit more keen on starting this. Uh, which way should it be? This way, I think. Yep. And it's going to blow out and everything. This is my progress and it's very white. Yeah, and this fabric is, I don't know if, I don't think it's gonna catch. 
but the um, what do you call that when the fabric is like this it is another color yeah it looks dirty and I was like why don't you just wash it I don't want to so those those were the whip program whip whip go projects I'll be working on for March and then you might wonder what about the other ones Linda and then I'm thinking which were the other ones hmm. now I know oops it was this one yeah I actually thought I was going to finish my Outlander bookmark and I was on good way excuse me <clears throat> it's the daily uh, workout when you drop something I have to pick it up uh, I thought I was going to finish it I had stitched quite a lot quite a lot yeah I, I'd been stitching on it on at work when I got there very early in the mornings and then when I got COVID, I was like, damn, I forgot the bookmark um, at work. And then when I got back to work and I was going to pack my bag, I was like, oh, there's my bookmark. I had it home with me all along. But I really don't like this. But this is how far I've got. I'm almost finished. Uh, I finished the assassinate a letter I saw on Instagram that the first episode on season six is out I didn't know I didn't know I don't know anything anyway I finished the assassinate and this one and now working on the castle and then there's going to be some green hills and then I'm finished and I just want to throw it away because I really don't like it. I'm stitching it with three stands, strands and it's bulky like ugh. Yeah. I don't I don't like it. But I don't know why my light has to switch all the time. Give me some light. So that was also Whipco. Maybe I will have it on Whipco next year and I can finish it. That was that. And the other Whipco was my long dog sampler, the pandemic. And I just noticed it's still in the Q snap, which is not supposed to be like that. I didn't stitch too much on it either. This is my progress. And it's stitched on 32 count with sulky threads. And I am using some DMC threads for the back stitching. And I remember saying that my goal was to finish the back stitching, which I have had missed earlier. So I filled in the back stitching here and here. Um, so yeah, I stitched my way over here. My plan was to, uh, yeah, stitch downwards like this to get to the edge, but I got bored and I got COVID. So <laughs> it just, everything was just thrown. I don't know. I was like, it, it, this is not going to work for me. The rotation was really good, really good, but um, I think Debbie over at uh, Creatively, Creatively Yours also said that the rotations just isn't going to work. And I feel the same way. I will have to, you know, figure it out in a different way. So 
so this is as much as I've done. So nice. Very nice. Love it. It's it's fun to stitch once I, you know, get back to it and stitch. <coughs> that's that and then my full coverage rotation uh, was called uh, I had the mini dragon in the morning I don't remember if I had stitched any of it before but here it is and I didn't stitch as much as I was supposed to I just as I said, I got COVID while uh, in the beginning of February. So I was like, it ruined everything, uh, like rotation wise. Um, so when I got well again uh, and started stitching on my shadow lanes, I just decided to, to put this aside. But I did get a little bit of uh, progress and I stitched his, I guess it's an ear. His ear, those dragon ears, she looks just like my Billy, my dog's ear. <laughs> I noticed that. Um, so yeah, and then I had a thought of, you know, stitching all the threads and put it away for now. So I might get back and do that at some point. Oh, I always forget. It's because I don't want this to be too long and boring it's stitched on 25 count it's a heaven and earth design it's randall spangler's art it's a mini dragon in the morning and i'm 10 stitching it i'm gonna get really close now maybe you can see it two threads over one like so what else you see what i have here we'll save that for last sip of coffee yes i said that i got inspired that's also a great thing with with floss tube you watch other floss tubers and you um get inspired by them and what they're stitching on and uh, as I said, I always watch Catherine and she was stitching her amazing animal. And this is also on a Q snap, which is okay. I almost think, I think, I think I could say I could retire all my whips except for all my bookshelves and just cycle through them. But I get excited just saying that. I'm like, what? You're never going to stitch Randall Spangler again? You're never going to stitch your Gecko Rouge? Or what about the, the Kraken Dragon? You're not going to touch them at all? But. So I actually did. It doesn't. It's not going to look too much. But I actually did a little bit of progress. Let's see if I can hold it like this. Uh. I had some threads here I finished and then I jumped over here and started I've stitched this part so maybe a couple of thousand stitches maybe and uh, so yeah more on the reindeer I think it's a reindeer his uh, tummy belly and his leg there so yeah and then I got a little bit bored these are not the most fun colors to stitch. It's it's a super sized max color, so it's like confetti heavy, like H E L L. So yeah, but uh, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna back here so you can see it from a distance. It looks great. I do love my full coverage pieces. They're just not calling me too much right now. So Amy Stewart, Amazing Animal Kingdom. 25 count, one over one, full cross. And I started it. Catherine, if you're watching now, we started this on the 1st of August. If you have forgotten. 
I think you were talking about July. This was the first of August. <clears throat> so that was that. Now we're going to get to my last uh, work in progress, which I'm totally in love with again. It is, it is my poison garden, Chatelaine. And you know, once you sit down and stitch on this thing, it goes pretty damn fast, actually. And it's looking so fucking gorgeous. So amazing. I, I don't want to stop. I have to continue on this. Oh my God. Yeah. This is what I have to stitch on. So I had all the specialty stitches here to finish in the in the grays. So I finished that and the, um, the names of the flowers and the beads and the specialty stitches down here. <clears throat> I finished that. I'm gonna go pretty close. Uh, and then I started these corners, oh, and the, the gates, they're so beautiful. And I just, I finished all the cross stitching here and here on, on this side here. And when I'm finished with the cross stitching, I do the specialty stitches and the back stitching, if there is any. So I finish, let's see if I can get close up. I've done the road stitches here, the green ones, pretty fast. And I'm, I just started over there. And then there's going to be some, there's some flowers here. I will do that. That's also like specialty stitches or back stitching. And then I will add in the beads. And then I can start on the corners over here. So right now I feel like doing that. And I have it on my scroll frame. My, it's a millennium frame. And I bead as I go. As you can see, I have some treasures here. Um, and I use this thing in between. And hopefully that will protect the beads and the fabric and everything. I hope so. And then I've sewn these like grime guards for my... Um, it's actually made for my biggest uh, Millennium frame. No, my biggest quantum frame. Um, but I use it on this to protect the fabric because I'm not going to be able to wash it later. But I did film this part. So I tried to go really close to show you the specialty stitches. I just did it today. So uh i don't know if it's gonna make you seasick so i it's just testing because somebody um put a comment on instagram when i made some pictures she said you better show it you know real close in your next floss tube so i was thinking maybe i can just film it a little bit close and show you how it looks i'm very proud of it i love my chatelaine that this is the only cross stitch um which my husband usually um say something about so um so i will put in that uh, little film clip here
hope you like that, enjoyed it. Let me know if it was good or bad. <clears throat> if it's not good, if you you're like in the bathroom throwing up now, uh, then I won't do it again, of course. Um, but uh, I bought the kit from again a European cross country uh, European cross country company in America. Before I found out that Hawkins Hobbies can help you with kitting stuff up. Um, it is 28 count even weave and I think that is causing me some trouble having enough threads for the whole thing because the thread I used for the all the petals here and I'm using it here too I'm almost out and I still have these leaves on all the other arches there's three more arches to do <clears throat> so I had to put in an order and I did it from traditional stitches in Canada, Calgary, Canada. Um, I love that store. Um, and I don't know, I don't think I could find it like in Europe, the, the threads. It's a CNC, the thread gatherer. Yeah, so I did that and they mailed it a while ago. I think it's more than a month ago, but it was mailed with normal mail because it's just some threads in there. <clears throat> so I don't know when it's getting here. I hope hope it's soon. Um, so yeah, uh, I will uh, talk a little bit about plants. Um, I don't have any plans. I have just decided to stitch whatever I feel like. If I do feel like stitching more on Messy, Maggie the Messmaker and the Storyteller, the census to Whipco during the, the month of March, I will do that, but I don't know. Uh, I will keep on for now on my Chatelaine. Um, I do feel one of my full coverage pieces calling for me again. So we'll see how. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna do with whatever, stitch whatever I feel like, whenever I feel like, that's what I'm gonna do. So, um, I have some awesome news. I mean, I have, I, I, when I received it, my unicorn, when I received it in my mail, I thought it was lost. I literally screamed. This pattern has been around the world. I even got a sticker from, I guess this is China. I don't know what it was doing over there because this package, this pattern was tracked until it came to Poland. And I had have had floss tube friends asking the Polish post office. I've been in contact with my own post, post office. I've asked the lovely lady who sold this pattern to me very, very, very cheap. And she has contacted her post office and no one has been able to help us. And the other day, I got this package, this thing, and it said pattern. And I'm like, pattern? I haven't ordered any patterns. And then I saw the name from the sender, I was like, that sounds familiar, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, hope that could this be the pattern? And I opened it and I just looked inside and I saw this and I just, I squealed. I was like, ah, I mean, okay, I know. This sounds, it might sound so ridiculous, but I don't think you think it sounds ridiculous because I think we all know, you know, a unicorn. I have been looking for this pattern for such a long time for like a normal price. And when I was actually saying, okay, I will pay a hundred dollars, max 150. 
and the sellers I've lost, uh, you know, um, on eBay auctions and stuff. And there was one for three hundred dollars. I don't know if it's still there. And I was like, you know, a hundred bucks. And she's like, no, nope. she wants more. And I'm like, no. And then I'm so lucky. I joined the group. It, it, it was I think it was Fox and Rabbit who started the group. And um, it was pretty new, I think, when I joined because it's a while ago. And this lady said, I have it. I'm like, so you want to sell it or you you were like, you want to lend it out? And she's like, no, I can sell it. It's like, OK, how much do you want? And when she said her price, I mean, it was, <laughs> I think it was the same price as when she bought it you know it was nothing I was like are you serious and she was like it's better if someone who really wants it and wants to stitch it stitch it has it than she, her she said I don't I have so much other things to stitch so this is it and I'm very 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 happy <laughs> and you cannot imagine how happy I was when I received it six months around the world and it found its way home and I've ordered the materials and from traditional stitches so it will get her get here when it gets here but when it gets here I will start it <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy it. So I'm very, very happy. So I don't want to mention her name. I haven't asked for anything. I don't think she watches my floss too, but you know who you are. And if you're watching, thank you so very much for doing this for me. Thank you. <clears throat> so we have the hole left and um, I do have quite a lot. Oh, I think I forgot a whip. This one I'm not going to throw. I'm still here. I'm just pulling out the stuff. Um, hey. <laughs> I actually got back to my Mirabilia with this little, um, my Lady of Mystery. I was watching Ellie Welly Stitcher was also stitching this and I was like I'm almost finished with her get your booty back and start stitching this thing and finish it off I'm so mad at myself but I think you remember I had this on a scroll frame and this part I've just sewn down the edge so I could get it to stay on the scroll frame but this fabric is too small if you want you know the three inch um border so <clears throat> and catherine over at cat talk talks she was like well it's time to start stitching in hand and i also got some um, advice about sewing some fabric to the fabric so then you can scroll it and that's actually a very good idea but I stitched some I don't know how much I did actually I didn't do a lot but I know this upper part I stitched in hand and it's working out pretty good I still have all the beads to do in this part and also I didn't know when I bought the kit, no, I kitted this up myself, that you needed more of the brown water lily 
silk so I have bought new and I think that's the one up here it's very different in color I've had so many issues with this thing so I actually I don't really like it but I am going to finish it and I hope soon I will get like a real mirabilia yes now I'm gonna finish it and then I'm gonna finish it in no time so that's it now we can get to haul so uh, one thing I love the gecko rouge kits they have so many kits I want so many of them, but I don't want to stitch all these full coverage pieces and just get more and more and more. I don't want to. So I don't know how I'm going to stop this, <laughs> but they have a great way. Uh, if you know, kits, it's expensive, but they have lay layaway system, which I think is pretty good. So I've had one of Medusa the doll maker kit which is the Dracula da -da -da. yes I love it we're gonna I'm gonna open it so it's crinkle time maybe I will get a less less of a glare here oh it's so cool 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 it's a lot of black black and grays yes and i order it as a 20 count because it's cheaper and i only got the digital pattern because it's cheaper um and but 28 count when there's so many dark colors i think that would be a good choice I just wonder where the fabric is but I think I've put it on a scroll frame so you get the um, all the threads on a card like this you have your needle here and it's DMC threads but they don't give you the DMC numbers so we have all the dark dark colors here um, bam 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 I also got a big needle minder. I don't know why. Waste of money. <coughs> so I hope it's uh, I hope it's going to be strong enough to hold some needles. I doubt it, but we'll see. It's very nice to have a nice needle minder. Um, let me just check. If I'm actually, I think, yeah, this is the, um, the fabric for the Dracula. And I'm all, almost, I'm going to get my voucher soon. And last time I bought a kit for my viewers and I uh, gave it away. I had a giveaway which was fun so I don't know if I'm going to do that or if I'm going to get another kit for myself selfishly I really like the Falcon girl the Meridus the Medusa doll maker Falcon I really like that one but I don't know I mean I have a lot of kits so we'll see I'm not promising anything but I might I might get you something <clears throat> okay let's drink the coffee before I pour it out on my cross stitch stuff mmm delicious so uh, I have made a lot of orders from Hawkins hobbies last year with the zodiac girls and some mirabilias and chatelaine and stuff and as we all know there are some delivery difficulties with there has been with the Kranich I think Gloriana and some water lilies so it's been taking a while and we've been talking a little bit back and forth so we decided to 
and also because it's an English store, a uh, UK store. So we know that when they ship over to Europe, we need to pay taxes and custom fees and everything. So I asked them to not send everything, but to give me a little bit at a time. So we decided to, for them to ship the completed kits they had. So that's what they did. And that's what I'm going to show you now. <clears throat> so we have Zodiac Girls, Leo, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. And I got them all in one envelope this time, which was weird. The last time I got them all in a separate uh, of each. Anyway, this is the Sagittarius. They are so beautiful. I haven't ordered the three last yet. The Scorpio and Leo. I'm a Leo. She's pretty. And if you want to know, I thought I was really cool. Um, Stitching Moon Megan over in Norway. She's an American living in Norway. Uh, she finds uh, hor horoscopes, zodiac signs and such very interesting. So she has given, given us a different view on the zodiac girls where she talks about the zodiac signs and what she sees in the, the signs and how she uh, connects that with the zodiac uh, knowledge is really cool. I'm sorry about that. My husband called, so I stopped recording, I think. Anyway, I think I showed you the Zodiac Girls. Oh, yeah. And I got the packages um, with beads and specialty threads for the three Zodiac Girls. Um, I think think I got DMC threads um, I don't think I got DMC threads for all of them I made some of them I ordered I think it doesn't matter it was three of them which I ordered which I wanted the DMC threads as well but you know I don't need that now if I'm not gonna stitch them and you know I have the fabric and stuff I don't know you want to <laughs> the floss tube is pretty long already but okay what the hell <clears throat> so DMC thread mm. I love DMC packs here's the fabric and here's some beads and this is for the Sagittarius and look at these gorgeous water lily colors. Oh my godness. Eye candy. So that was Sagittarius. And what do we have here? We have Leo. And that too. Apparently I got DMC threads for as well. Do you know what this means? I can start it today. I can start it whenever I feel like fabric and needles, beautiful beads, a lot of glare, yeah, and woof, these are real lion colors, beautiful, beautiful, what's that yellow, that's papaya, yeah, yum yum, 
<clears throat> so that was a Leo. And <clears throat> Scorpio. My older sister is a Scorpio. Here we have beads. Beautiful purple beads. And here's the, the DMCs. Fabric with needle. Why I ordered the fabric was because I want the same fabric for all of them. So that's why I'm going with whatever the, this they called for. And the beautiful water lily colors. I noticed there was no chronic in these. Which is fine by me. So I have two more things for haul. I got the Bella Filipina Temptress of the Cursed Sea. And I got the, the the kit for that without um, DMCs and fabric, no fabric. <clears throat> so there's some cranics for her and lots of beads. Hmm. I don't know what's actually in. There's no, you know, behind on the back of the the pattern it doesn't say what you need it doesn't say which DMCs you're gonna use or anything so it's difficult to, to check and I don't remember if there is any water lilies or whatever but I think that's fine Last but not least, a Mirabilia. And I was so lucky to find a full kit on Hawkins Hobbies for one of the out of print mermaids. So I ordered her. And she's very sweet and pretty. And they always look 10 times better in real life stitched up. So it's a full kit with everything. You want to take a look? I want to take a look. Let's take a look. The DMC colors. Yum, yum, yum. And the beads. lovely colors and it's so much glare i will have to you know pull them out of the plastic bags if we're not gonna have any glare and then we have a lot of chronic holy moly she's gonna shine and we have fabric and this is the Twilight Blue. It's, uh, I think it's Witchelt because it is not so soft. And Shimmering Mermaid. 
number 71. Very happy. <clears throat> I will pack this back down. And then before I let you go, I want to share with you I want to share with you what I pre-ordered for the, you know, my favorites for the Nashville Needle Market uh, 2022. So I will insert pictures here because I have no idea when I'm going to get them and if I'm going to get them. I don't know. Uh, I think two of them were exclusive, so I'm not sure if I'm lucky enough to be one of the ones who will get them. Uh, but let's start with the primitive hair. There was a full kit for the cross stitch collector and it looked pretty cool. And you know, there was some tray, fabric, threads, everything. So we'll see, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'm lucky enough to get, you know, the whole kit but maybe fabric threads and pattern maybe and the other one I ordered just yesterday evening when I thought a little bit about it was the new booklet from Blackbird's Designs and I heard that um, some of the hearts in the booklets were uh, some of the last designs uh, Barb did before she passed away unfortunately last summer but there's quite a few patterns in this thing and uh, the sampler at, well, I think it's sampler you call it a sampler in the front at the front on the front of the booklet there's like four or five different panels and that really caught my eye. I thought that looked a bit different. So I've ordered that, but everyone wants the Blackbird. So I'm not sure since I didn't pre-order it, I might not uh, get it. And I don't know if it's like sold out and you never get it again. I don't know. And then I ordered the Mogi Manor from the Blue Flower. Again, lots of animals, really sweet. So I pre-ordered that one. And then I ordered two things from Rosewood Manor, which is also one of my favorite designers. It was um, the Autumn Hill Sampler the colors there is just amazing and then I saw pictures from their room at Nashville and I saw Summer Hill and Spring Hill so it might be a seasonal sampler collection and then um, also from Rosewood Manor was was it something with Haven it looked it was a sampler it looked different of course I'm putting in a picture here and the name of the sampler here, I don't remember, but it looked, again, I think it looked a bit different. And then there's the white, is it a stork, storks? I don't know the names in English. You can hardly see them. So I would pick another type of fabric for this. So you can actually see the birds a bit better. And then Plum Street samplers. Love them, love, 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 love. I love Plum Street samplers, really, I love them. And they're releasing a new uh, stack series, which is the Corgi Dogs. So I ordered that. And they also, 
made a very beautiful sampler with a pink house, brick house, a pink brick house. And it's called This Lovely Day or something. It was also an exclusive and I ordered the, the fabric and threads. So those were my pre-orders. What, what I also ordered for my Salem Remembered, my unicorn, I actually ordered um, the Nashville fabric from Fox and Rabbit. Um, I don't know, flannel something, I think. So to get a piece of uh, one of my favorite uh, fabric tires in one of my unicorns. So that was my pre-orders. I don't know what I'm going to get and when I'm going to get it. And together with this, I ordered some other things I couldn't resist. So I'm really looking forward to get my package from t traditional stitches. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say for this time. I'm sorry it's been a while. Um, but I really appreciated like the last time uh, Therese, Teresa, Therese, a Swedish, uh, yeah, stitchy friend uh, asked where I was. And this time, uh, Leslie, Liesel, Liesel from Australia asked. And so don't be afraid, you know, I mean, don't be afraid. I'm not, I'm not dangerous, <laughs> but don't hesitate to, to, you know, send me a message if you think it's been a while since I made a floss tube I need that kick in the butt in the butt in the butt in the ass sometimes to actually do this uh, and when I do it I love it and it's like talking with friends you know and I want to see what you have bought and I want to show you guys what I have bought because no one here in my house cares <laughs> so that's very much appreciated um, yeah, if you want to support me in my channel, there is a link down below for a Ko-fee. It's not the usually buy me a coffee, it's Ko-fee, it's a new company. Since Co buy me a coffee doesn't cooperate with PayPal anymore, I had to change, change that. Um, watch the advertisement, it helps me a lot. Everything I get, I put straight back into the channel and I love to have giveaways. And I want everyone to participate. I don't want to limit it to Europe because it's more cheap to send stuff within Europe. I want the whole world to be a part. I want all my viewers to be a part of it. And I like floss tubers who do the same for their uh, viewers, even if you're in America. I appreciate when you let everyone who watches your channel and are members of your channel to be a part of your giveaways. If you can and want to, um, please do uh, support Ukraine uh, in one way or another. Um, send them prayers and thoughts. And let's hope this war ends very, very soon. Anyway, let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you everyone for returning. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for your messages. Keep sending me messages. Keep commenting on Instagram and on FlossTube. It's the interaction with you guys, which I love the most. Take care. Bye.